Hi guys, uh, you see me I'm back in Thailand and yeah, just arrived and I already being pushed into a really urgent uh, work. You see here we are getting a new street, they are making quite a boulevard here so additionally to the normal street there will be bicycle lanes and pedestrian walkways here and before I have actually borrowed a little bit of public sun here and I have to immediately remove uh, this row of solar panels at my big array because that is now in the way of the works and otherwise they cannot continue so you see the marking here luckily everything else is on our land but a one row of panels needs to go and of course this is my big area here here's also the car charger here I don't want to lose a lot of power here so if I remove these eight panels here I of course need to uh, rearrange them somehow so that at the end the power remains about the same but this will be the topic of uh, another video where we will be talking about optimizations of all the existing uh, Areas here, solar areas, and of course, uh, I want to act actually add a power, not remove them. So, you have, uh, of course, another question what happened with the power wall? I cannot tell you, I just arrived. So, let's go to the power wall and see uh, what's going on there. You know, we have a non working inverter. Uh, let's check. If we can find out what the problem there is. You know I have two inverters here at the moment. One is the Sun 2000 and one the Sun 1000. The Sun 1000 does not feed in into my system. Let's check on this one. What we can see at the moment yeah, we have, of course, the DC at the moment is off, so that's why we have starting voltage to low. That's now normal for this one. And what does this one show? Nothing at all. So this one is actually dead. And why that is, what happened, we will have to find out. And also this will be a topic. Of another video if there is nothing displayed on the screen it means the AC side is affected and yeah, there can be different reasons for that I hope it's nothing too serious because actually no breaker of the AC side has stripped so I really don't know uh, what's going on here at the moment but we will find it out as a preview there will be another job here at the power wall. We will actually add another compartment here, another door, and there will be another electronics compartment. In that electronics compartment, I'm going to put a third inverter because we have three phases here, only two at the moment are utilized. So another inverter is missing, and then we will also add a fourth charger and the charger this will be a project by itself it will be actually not like the other ones which are fixed output chargers that will be a variable output charger and what i want to do is of course i want to hack that charger and control it with my powerwall controller so also this will be probably a whole series of new videos there are more to do, of course, smaller jobs and everything what, what can be interesting for you, I will show it to you and yeah, just wait for the next few months, there is a lot of projects, a lot of ideas which I have and there will be short videos, longer videos. That's all I want to say, this video should be just short and so thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe to the channel, don't miss the new videos and I'll see you next time.